Good kitten internet. Starting right back up where we left off. In fact, my Magic 6 has been running. All I've done is move the video over and start the upload. Um, these videos are huge, by the way. Um, this is a. I think by the time we're done with the series, I'm going to use a half terabyte of disk space just on these videos. Which is fine. I have plenty of space. Let's begin. Recall. Tomb of Arn. All right. Where last we left off, we were dealing with the Tomb of Arn. Guess what we're still doing? We're dealing with the Tomb of Arn. Okay. Now, I believe it's this path that we need to go down now, which definitely go back to normal speed. We need to be a little careful here. I thought I hit enter. Uh, the reason why we need to be careful isn't because of the enemies. The enemies are the easy part. The hard part is the radiation. So, as you will find out when we walk in... Radiation damage, as it just appeared, I accidentally skipped over. So, that's why we need the Golden Skulls out. Golden Skulls will absorb radiation damage. That's actually what their use is. Hey, crystal skull. Sorry, not golden. Crystal. Crystal skulls absorb radiation damage. So we're going to have to walk with this in our hands. Technically, if you had a skull on each character, that would also work, but we don't. So I'm going to kill everything in here first. As, um, you know, I'm one to do. You can tell there's a lot of enemies in this section. Kind of sucks. Die already, please. Do, 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 do's. How are you doing? I know I ask that a lot. It's because I have problems coming up with things to talk about from time to time. Uh, so, talking even more about Might Magic 7. So, Might Magic 7 is a great game to start with. I've mentioned this before, that's kind of what I recommend to start the series with if you're okay with missing some of the storyline. Storyline-wise, definitely start with this game, Might Magic 6. Might Magic 7 picks up um, a couple of years after Might Magic 6, but storyline-wise, the, um... Whatchamacallit? Um, the ending FMV of this game links directly up to the starting FMV of the next game. So, that's nice. They even kept the same voice actor for one of the roles, because it's needed. And you'll see what I mean. Alright. Um, you're all dead. You're not dead yet. Now you are. Okay, let's walk a little bit further. I'm just going to attack you all. So I'm going to t kill everything in this room first, because the crystal skull is not oh, darn it. As I drop the crystal skull into my inventory, um, the reason being is that I want to make sure that the skull absorbs as much damage as possible. And by hitting the space bar or trying to loot anything, for that matter, oh, I've got broken stuff. Um, as I was saying, as Ooh, I'm gonna also need to heal. Let's plan that. This is the problem. Uh, trap metal. Hold out the crystal skull. Trap. Uh, you're going to need to shared life, unfortunately. So I'm actually doing fairly crappy on hit points. Put that back in your hand. Let's go ahead and power cure. Right. 
Screw it. Just hammer on everything. There we go. That's easier to deal with. Okay. And I believe there's more enemies down here. Which is fine. The flame door, I think I can open it from the inside. I don't remember now. Probably should be doing this in turn-based mode, but I'll... Yeah, okay, now I'm switching to turn-based mode. Rule of my magic six. When in doubt, offensive magic before healing magic. And the reason for that is because you're going to die otherwise. Door is still locked. Okay, I must not have found the flame door key, which sucks. Because I really can't loot this room properly without it. And that kind of makes sense, because I'm still missing some of the codes. So, for instance... Uh, I'm not even allowed to do that. Um, I thought the picture was supposed to show me something. Oh, it's the text down there. Only one bearing the key may speak the code. So, each of these pools... ...has a code associated with it. Oh, um, while you're in the water, you're not affected by radiation damage, so I'm gonna loot things from the water. Move up. Oops, did not. It's really obnoxious dealing with something in your hand constantly. And the game never tells you that the crystal skulls need to be in your hand. You know what? Just move all of the codes to her. That's not even useful. Um, do I have any other codes? No. There we go. Doctor's code. Have you figured out the codes yet? If not, I'm about to spoil it. So, three, two, one. It's the cast of Star Trek. All of their names backwards. So, so instead of McCoy, it's Yakum. Navigator's code. So, Instead of Uhura, it's A-R-U-H-U. -U. Nope. Uh, darn it. Navigator's code. Oh, so derp. Uh, I'm an idiot. what I get for being really tired for some reason. I don't know why I'm so tired. I, I only woke up three or three and a half hours ago. That shouldn't be too bad. I'm just gonna heal up a little bit. At least get everybody back up to green. That works. Okay, and then Communications officer is the only other one I have at the moment. You cannot enter the codes without the scrolls. Damn it. That does not help me. Not that one. I have first mate's code. Why am I not finding the first mate's pool? I must have switched characters at some point. Is it here? No. What the heck, game? I was supposed to be able to find the first mate's pool. Why are you being... Oh, there we go. So this would be Spock. So... K-Cops. 
There we go. All right, and that's all I can do at the moment. So we need to find where in the world everything else is. The Well of Varn must be keyed last. Just going to step in these. You notice that the only characters that are getting hit... No, no, actually it wasn't like that. What the heck game? Okay, so um, basically the Crystal Skull will absorb radiation damage until I step onto a cleansing pool. Once I step onto a cleansing pool, I'm fine until I get close to the reactor room again. So where am I missing? I must be up these stairs that I'm missing. Or down here maybe? No, I've already been down here. Must be up the stairs. Like over here? Yep, over here. And also down there, but... I don't think over the engine area matters. Yeah, I'm being attacked by too many things. You're getting trap metal. Hit you a bunch. Run. Hit these. Why does this room look like a giant penis? <sighs> okay, got that. With a weird growth on it, too. And this is yet another dead end. But there is a chest over here. And this has one of the codes, probably. Oh, chest is on a different floor. Must be the floor above. Let's go. I did not actually want to slip down there yet. Save and see where this takes me. Oh, it just takes me all the way down. Okay. Okay. Um, down here appears to be nothing. That's correct. Oh. A genie flew in? Oh, okay. Hello, Afreet. How about you die now? Thank you, Afreet. Let's go ahead and shared life. Power cure up a little bit. I should probably teleport back, but oh well. Hi. This is what I've been trying to say. Okay, yeah, I'm breaking stuff. No, I'm not. That was status effect. Darn it, game. I hate how it has the same animation for status effect as it does for breaking things. It's more the something bad happened animation. Uh, you're over there. Let's walk over. Book of learning. D breath. Everybody has D breath. Intellect 18. Sadly, that might actually be better for her. I seem to remember she was really close to a intellect barrier. No. No, she's not. Maybe it was him? But he already has plus seven, 10 to everything that way. So yeah, I lose hit points in AC. No, that's not going to happen. Um, let's go ahead and run back at this point. Just because I want to make sure I heal up more and to prove Sashanan wrong and that I do in fact run away to go heal from time to time. And yes, I know I can cure the status effect before running away, but I don't feel like it. Also, I did look up the magic lamps are redeemed in Dragon Sand, but since I can redeem that at any time, I'm not going to worry about it right now. They are redeemed for precious gems, though. Maybe I should have. Oh, well. Too late. I could just walk outside. I don't care. So down this path. This is the one that I need to go down for the next code. I think... I'm trying to remember now. Aren't you glad I have double speed abilities? 
because these are really long paths. Then we've got up here. Where I get hit with status effects again. I mean, at least they're not beholders. Sure, they have more hit points and hit harder than beholders, but they're not beholders. That's important to me. Awaken. Found a ring. That ring might actually be useful. It's not. <laughs> I think there's more crystal skulls here, too. Uh, it's dusk. I believe I have to go down? Empty room. This area is always creepy to me. And this just drops me here again. What the heck, me? Where am I forgetting things? Because that goes back to Woodpinnel Hill. This goes back to the start. I know I grabbed the thing I need from Woodpinnel Hill. The Varnchesky is what I have. Where did I need to go for the Varnchesky? As I fall over. Good job, me. Where are those enemies at? Is that back outside again? Yeah. I walked over it, it's fine. Also, you're stuttering, there we go. All right, I didn't go all the way up here, did I? I said I was going to and I didn't. This is the only reason why this video may end up being in more parts is because I keep forgetting where I need to go. All the way up to the top just drops me down. That's not helpful. It's not helpful at all. There are no hidden doors in this place, if I remember correctly. Okay. You're just as capable of casting jump, but you're the one that uses spells less right now. Yeah, and just brings me back here. Okay, I need to remember where to go. Maybe I'll cut out part of this video, just so I don't lose track. So if you see a cut about here, that probably means that I took a while to find it. Really don't want to edit this video though, that would suck. Torchlight just expired. Okay, this just goes to the bibliotheque. This path went over to the outside again. So I'm going to go to the outside and find my enemies. I still haven't gotten the flame door key, so I know I'm missing something major. And it hurts me to leave those bodies behind, but I have to at the moment. So, are you out here? Yes, you are. Sweet. Oops. I don't think it's anything over here. I know there's another one in the corner. Oops. You broke something. Mordred! How dare you break such a pretty dagger? I know it's identical to the others. Okay, now I'm back in condition green. So that will help me figure out what I might be missing. Then I can see where there's enemies. Unfortunately, this place is so freaking huge that it's gonna take me a bit to find where in the world I need to go. Uh, yeah, I was going double speed. It's like, am I going actually going double speed? Yes. I go back through here. Where did I mess up? That's where I just went through. I should probably actually cure some fear while I'm doing this. There's nothing in this section. Yeah, fear is all cured. Uh, that's back to the reactor. 
I don't need to go into the reactor right now. This is back to the stairwell, and back here is other stuff. That's to the ramp room. Back there is a dead end. Oh, well, let's go back into the reactor room, I guess. Maybe I missed something in here. That's where I need to go down at, for reference. Um, why have I not found the flame? Let's, let me double check this really fast. I feel bad about actually needing to look things up. But it's been too long for me, I guess. Okay. Um, seven is where I'm looking for. Seven is... Where the hell is seven on this map? Oh, are you kidding me? Dang it, me. I forgot. I actually do need to be outside. So I'm gonna load from here. Nope, that's back that way. Easiest way for me to get back outside is over here. I completely forgot a section of the dungeon. Good job, me. Huh? Mission yellow. Why the hell my condition yellow here? Whatever. So I was right into jumping out here. I think. Because I need to go here. Dang it, me. Okay. I saw that break. As good as new. Oh. And there is a side passage there too, but these first. I think nope. Money. Flame door key, because now I can enter the front door, and the captain's code. Ah, oh, that's actually not bad. Got another crystal skull, and cell bait. Walk up. Walk up those annoying stairs, or I can go defeat more genies! And let's wake up, because... They won't wake up on their own, unless if you go to sleep and wake up. Now the annoying part. If I remember right, there's a side way out. Yep. There's a secret side passage out, so you don't have to have the jump spell. Which is good. It's nice to not require these spells. It would just be nice to, you know, not need it. Or, be able to use it, but not need the spells. Okay. So now I should be able to go back here. Actually opening up the flame door. Okay, I'm not in radiation range yet, so I'm gonna loot these. Oh, I left behind this one. I'm all jumpy again. There we go. Now I can redeem Kirk. Oh, I should actually show but it really is Kirk. See? Crick. Yep, there's a the reactor going off. God damn it. Welcome back. Um, I figured out what it was. I had two codes missing. One was here, and one was here. Ah, dang it me. Well, this is going to be an edited video, so I have no idea how long. Uh, it was probably like 20 minutes. Um, I'm going to get closer to the reactor and heal. I don't, actually, I really don't need to heal. That took a lot longer than I should have taken. So go me. Uh, let's heal up. Then I'll recast Hour of Power. Ah, 
Okay. Put this back in my hand and walk over to the reactor. About damn time. Like I said, I apologize about that. For some reason, I thought I already had communication officer's code, which is the one that's here, isn't it? No? Oh. I did put it in her inventory, right? Yeah. So. I was missing two of the codes. There we go. I misspelled that, didn't I? Uh, yeah. Swap the A. On the R and the A. There. My brain has problems with that one backwards for some reason. And this is Crick. Water's parked. And now we are behind that from way back. So. And welcome to patrol units. Also, I definitely need this at normal speed because they break things every time they attack. It's great. So, control units, there's a couple of them in here. We will get to know them very well soon enough. They have 400 hit points. These are the low end ones for reference. You broke the bow. I can't let you break that bow. So, I mean, I obviously did, but. They are immune to magic attacks as per everything else in this game. They are not, however, immune to elemental attacks. They're just resistant. So, anyway. Got Enforcers, which is the next tier up. They have a lot more hit points. Okay. And then, I believe this one's a Terminator? Unit. Okay, I lucked out. Terminators are really nasty. They have the ability to eradicate untouch. Uh, do you remember? Oh, I forgot to recast Hour of Power. No wonder I was having problems. Um, this is actually what we were here for. This is the control cube. Perfectly smooth metallic cube. Cell bait. Jam bait. Cell bait. Money. Anyway, there is another way out of here. I'm trying to remember what it was because I want to find it because I always just hand portal out of here. And I know that they made sure there was a second way to get out and it was something really weird. I thought maybe it's actually just this side. Oh no, they actually lowered the blank. That's what it was. Okay, we're done with this place. I'm just going to Beacon, or actually, might as well. Town portal, free haven. Ugh. Okay, we're going to run in. So let's fly. We're going to run in, return the control cube, and then get an ability for us. We need to have that ability before we do anything else. All right, time to get some more explanation out of this place. You now have access to the control center. Simply ask to be transported and I will oblige. One warning, however, the guardians of the control center are no longer under my control, so please exercise caution when visiting the center. And now you get more information. As I said, the Kriegen are resistant to all but most weapons available in Enroth. Or most of the weapons available in Aroth, but not all. To rid the world of them, you will need to find where their vessel crashed and destroy the main reactor. The only problem is that the resulting explosions from the reactor will destroy this planet. Yep. 
You will need a powerful spell to prevent the explosion from damaging the planet, but no spell like that exists in the world today. The only person I can think of that would know such a spell is Archibald, but he's in no condition to teach you. To make matters worse, the reactor cannot be harmed by normal weapons or spells. You will need the ancient weapons in the control center to destroy the reactor. Ancients. Though my memory has been damaged by Archibald. I believe I already read this, didn't I? Nope. I didn't. I can still remember the danger that our ancient enemy, the Cregan, posed to our world. The Cregan first appeared roughly 1,500 years ago, attacking outlying colonies and stealing their resources. It was thought that the t at the time that they simply needed certain minerals and they could be reasoned with, but this was not the case. Their life cycle forces them to breed until the world cannot support their numbers, and then they send ships off to other worlds to renew the cycle. Their attacks against the Empire of the Ancients disrupted the network of shipping and communications that held us all together, causing the silence that marks the first year of our modern calendar. So that's what the silence was. It's um, their communications network stopping, literally things becoming silent. So they broke the internet. Without support from the homeworlds, our fledgling technology failed, bringing us to the sorry state. I would help rebuild our technology, but I seem to have become a religious figure in the minds of many people, and very few visit me or understand what I have to offer. Perhaps this Cregan crisis we face will bring people to their senses, as long as we survive it. So, we can now enter the control center from here, which we're going to do right now. Um, first, let's go ahead and take a look at our stats. We can level up to 89. Keep in mind, our actual level is 75. We've already leveled nine levels from Varn and Dark One. So, enter the control center. This is the control center. This panel here is what we're after. Hello and welcome to the self-guided tour of the Varn Planetary Control Facility. We gladly welcome all visitors as you arrive at each key area, be sure to check any of our display screens for more information. Enjoy your tour! I think it's over here is the first one. Yep, time for everything to break. I mean everything. Nothing I can do. Oh, on character. It's fixed. Okay. Usually I end up having to handle this via melee combat, because seriously, everything here is really dangerous. And everything breaks. Um, this dungeon, unlike every other dungeon in the game, only has one type of enemy, patrol units. Oh, this is actually what we need. Blaster weapons provide an effective, accurate ranged attack. To operate the blaster, hold your grip comfortably in your hand and point the barrel at your target and gently squeeze the trigger. Should the weapon misfire, do not look into the barrel. Give the weapon to an instructor and let them fix the problem. Never point a blaster at something you do not want to vaporize. We now have ancient weapon skill. A weapon from before the silence. Their making has long since been lost. Expert and master blasters okay, gain double and triple accuracy with these awesome weapons. We now have ancient weapon skill. That's all we needed. This is what I've been alluding to in this game. Into weapon skill, you get blasters. Um, I don't think there's any blasters in this room, though. Nope, this is just where you gain the skill. We're going to get blasters, by the way. They're all in this dungeon. This is the only place in the game you can find them. No, Cleric needs to fix something. I do end up breaking. Two things, actually. Yeah, you definitely need to those. That that includes your dark magic ring. All these chests are horribly chest, uh, trapped. And our first blaster. A weapon of awesome power, clearly created during the Time of Wonders. So, blasters are all worth nothing, which means they cannot be enchanted. And they attack very quickly. I'm not going to use a blaster at the moment. In fact, I'm going to try not to use very many blasters in this game as a whole. I believe the only good loot in here, in the entire dungeon, are blasters. This place is for XP grinding, basically. 
Oops, I skipped this room. Oops. There we go. Also, they don't drop any bodies because why would they do something like that? That'd be silly. And well, they're just really obnoxious enemies in my mind. This is one of my least favorite dungeons, not because of difficulty, although it's definitely very difficult. It's one of my least favorite dungeons because there seems to be little point in doing anything in here. Oops. A spark appears there randomly. It's basically, the control center is a bit broken, is what it is. You actually see some more sparks down there. Time of day, it's noon. Yeah, there's a lot of enemies in there. I should probably deal with them. Okay, so yeah, these are the enforcer units. They have 700 HP. Um, so these have more HP than most dragons, because why not? Um, You broke something. I should probably do a break item check right now. It's fixed. Okay, nothing broken there. Okay, nothing broken. Good. Uh, Dragon's Breath does not work on them. Do you see what I mean about... Ugh. Okay, as long as you're in melee range, you're not too bad to deal with. The problem is, they can easily escape out of melee range, and I can't do a dang thing about it. And more breakage. It's fixed. This is a completely optional dungeon, by the way. You technically only need one blaster in the game. As good as new. Because there's only one thing in the game actually immune to weapons other than blaster. Or is it two? I don't remember if it... Oh if the queen is also immune to it. Um, it's the reactor. It's you have to use a blaster. Let's go ahead and share life. Oops. Shrap Metal does lots of damage because Shrap Metal is physical attack and they have no resistance against physical if I remember right. Anyway, the reason why I'm going through here is that I want to level up because that will be our probably last level is our level up is coming up really soon. Also, I need to remember to actually find the shrine. Okay. Um, I think I'm going to leave here and then grab loot, or sell off loot. That's gonna be sell bait, unfortunately. Aha. That's enchant bait. Okay, so first thing I'm gonna do is redeem all of these magic lamps. Um, easiest way to do that is to Town portal, back to New Serpical. I'm gonna go until an hour 20 or so because I'm betting I'm losing 20 minutes of time. And it's back over here in Abdul's Discount Resort. Hello, Abdul. This is where they will exchange gem, or exchange lamp for gems. Do, 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 do. That's it. That's all the lamps in the game, to my knowledge. So now, we're actually done with Dragon Sand beyond wanting to clear out that one corner, which I'm going to do once I have good Ancient Weapons skill. So I want to use Ancient Weapons on that to demonstrate what they're like. Why did I teleport to Free Haven? That's not where I want to be. New Serpicals where I want to be. Let's go ahead and sell off all the things. I don't remember 
remember who wanted the crystal skulls. I think there was somebody who was willing to buy them. Mm, I should look that up really fast. Give me just a moment. Uh, let's see. Crystal skulls. I know how to use them. I'm just trying to find if I can sell them. That's it. Okay. I'm just going to drop them. I have no need to go back to farm. I'll keep one just in case. One doesn't take up that much inventory space. So, um, we've sold everything. Let's go ahead and heal up. Also, recast our power. Wish there was a way of making it harder to break items. There is in Might Magic 7. There is not in Might Magic 6, though. Actually, no, I only need one. It'll be fine. So, shrine. While well, I'm remembering. Recall. Oh, right. I don't have a town portal there anymore. Or a, um, whatchamacallit, um, Blades Beacon there anymore. Oh, I know. I gave it to her, didn't I? Yeah. There we go. Let's go over here. There's nothing left in the game for me to master other than mind magic, is there? I guess mind magic and uh, things I'm never going to use, plus blaster, of course. But I don't really need master mind magic. Just stretching my legs. Yeah, everything else. Um, Bodybuilding might not be a bad idea. For her. So, at this point in the game, most Might Magic players are just going to... What was I doing? Oh, yep, I remember now. Uh, most Might Magic players are just... Also, I'm really curious to see if I can jump up to the top of this. I don't think I can, but... Um, considered airborne. Uh, most might magic players will basically stick with uh, blasters for the rest of the game. Okay. And I am one of those. I really like using blasters, but it's kind of cheap. I've hit the top of the world. I was just, just curious to see if I can jump over there. Anyway. But I want to try and use more than just blasters this game. Because I feel like it. There's not really any other reason for it. Hey look, here's a key ring that I've misplaced. And that's it. Hint. Hey look, control center. Pilgrimage. Shrine of accuracy. Accuracy is in... I don't remember now. Shrines. Accuracy is free haven. Okay, that's easy enough. I need to go back there anyway. Town portal. Free haven. That's over here. There we go. Not that the shrines really mean much at this point. What am I doing? This is where I'm. This is where I'm going. Run down here. I will end up dropping a portal down here for effort. All right, beacon down here. Just because this takes a bit of effort. And I'm lazy. Okay, we're back. We're healed up. Um, we can probably level up again already. Would be my guess. 89 still okay. Um, usually these give, these are actually the enemies that give the most XP in the game, if I remember right. I don't even think dragons give as much. That might just be terminal, Terminator units, though. That's a Terminator unit. They kill you dead. I don't want to deal with the Terminator right now, so I'm just going to walk away. There 
there's a chest down here. Terminators. Hey, look, I just got eradicated. This is what happens. That's still on jump. Okay. Resurrection. They all love eradicating things. Also, you notice that her um, spell points have dropped to zero. That's what happens when you get eradicated and slain or anything. Just, you lose everything. If It wouldn't bother me as much if I wasn't constantly, constantly having to deal with losing the spell points as well. Um, no, I should shared life at this point. Trap metal is the only way you can get rid of these things, basically. And you're normal. I can deal with you. Um, you can cure weakness now. So, yeah. Plus 90 to hit is not enough to reliably hit these. Because reasons. So, there's a chest here. Nothing in it. Chief Engineer Wilson's personal log. I have locked myself in the storage room number six, but have no means of escape. The drone bots have gone mad and started killing everyone in sight. I was able to access the main control terminal on level four despite warnings of a hazardous leak. I sent a distress signal, but since we have not had contact with any of the colonies for several weeks, I do not believe that rescue is possible. I have also managed to seal this fac facility so that drones cannot escape. It is my hope that the colonists will be able to mount some sort of defense by the time my encryption codes are broken. Tell Emma I love her. Wilson out. Blaster rifle! This is the best weapon in the game. So, blaster rifles are the better version of blasters. They're just strictly better. There's no real difference. I now have enough blasters for everybody. So, this is what blasters look like, by the way. Oh, and... I should unequip the shield. Look at how often she's attacking versus the arrows. That's what happens with blasters. And her accuracy isn't very good. It's only plus 71 right now. Also, if you have a shield... Oh, no. She actually does have high enough at speed where shield doesn't really affect much. Anyway... So I could just blaster everything at this point on. And to be honest, I am tempted. Day protection ran out. Wow. I am genuinely tempted to do that. Uh, let's see. Notice how slow it is in turn-based mode. It's because I'm fighting things that are also using blasters. If I take the shield off, it's not as bad. Now she's getting like three attacks or everybody getting one. So blasters are ranged attacks and they go in your melee weapon hand, which basically means that any bow that you have is just there for buffing stats. They don't do anything else in the game. That's why I'm kind of ill at ease of using them because it kind of makes the game really easy. And I'll demonstrate just how nasty they truly are when I test them out on the remaining dragons. That's the reason why I kept them, by the way. Guinevere? No, that's Lunar Ring of Mana. Okay. Oops. Okay, that's everything. Do you even have anything? You've got a regular blaster. Technically, what you really need to do is wait until you have everything, and that's it. Terminator, great. Are you also a Terminator? No. Uh. 
See how much damage Trap Metal does? It's so great. Yeah, I know. She broke something. She broke a blaster. Blasters are really easy to repair, by the way, because of how little value they have. So that part's nice. We apologize for any inconvenience, but ask that all personnel evacuate the facility at this time. Please do not be alarmed. Thank you. Okay. Um, this was not a door. I believe bad stuff's to the left. Before entering the planetary reaction chamber, please request a pair of safety goggles from one of our drones. During peak hours of operation, this facility can generate enough power to reduce the light bright enough to be seen from space. Please avoid looking directly at the light. Yep, this is where bad things happen. I'm trying to avoid going into those areas, and this is going to end up being a two-parter, but that's because Varn finished pretty quickly. This is a bad room also, but I need to enter these. Two Terminators! Okay, got one. I do not mess around with Terminators. They are too dangerous to do that. And real-time mode's generally a bad idea in here. I keep forgetting about that. Because I break so many things. And just look at the number of broken things I end up with. Oops. Derp. So these are just patrol units. They're not as hard. I mean, they're not easy. None, of, nothing in here is easy. Oops. Ah, okay. So they basically have two types of attack. They can either just do a single shot, which has a very high chance of breaking something, or they can do a multi shot that hits your entire party. More blasters. Blaster rifle. Rifle. Rifer. And, by the way, in case if you needed more memory crystals or a control cube, they're all in here. Just to taunt you. I believe... Do I have this yet? So there's actually a hidden quest in here. That's one of the reasons why I'm staying in here to clear it out. Don't think I have it yet. I do not. Okay. You don't actually receive a quest reward so much as you have something mentioned inside of your quest notes. Which is kind of a neat way of handling it. I believe this door is useless to enter, but I'm going to enter it anyway for now. Yeah, nope. I'm going to keep that closed just to make things easier. It's just a trap that's continually going off. No need to worry. Hour 10, okay. This just brings us up here. Bouncing again. This room. It's got nothing in it. Also has nothing in it. And this just brings us to the other side. And bouncing again. Okay. So we've cleared out that section. Well, other than this one wandering murder bot. Okay, taken care of. Oops. Partially closed door. That's always fun. Yep, we should go after these. Um, murder bots usually don't go very far. Yeah, not all of these. I mean, this is a broken area, so it kind of makes sense that things like this end up happening. Whee! 
I mean, I'm in Free Haven, it's not difficult for me to heal. This does nothing. Just there to taunt you. There's a lot of that in here. Of just there to taunt you. We need a shared life so I don't die immediately. And. Enforcer. One Enforcer, I can totally do that. Okay. Okay, got that. Long paths. Lots of them. Alert! Environmental controls are offline on levels on level four, sections eighteen through ninety-six. Access restricted to drones until further notice. So long story short, the drones went crazy. Probably because they got disconnected from the internet. And all the people had to abandon this facility. Okay, no murders. How many spell points are you up to? 27. This is actually not that bad. Yep, no murder drones here. Good. Yep. Damn it. Wrong button. Don't need to jump. Oh, dang it. I knocked into my mouse that time. Am I doing on spells? Three hours left, I'm okay. Am I doing on time? 442, I'm okay. Oh, this door is not opening. I think that might have been a glitch, or it might be one that I have to just hit from the other side. I don't remember which now. It's really hard to tell when it comes to this place. Oh, no, there's no murder brought there. Go, those down. No. Okay. Lots of machines. Okay. <laughs> Want to go take out this wayward murder bot because it's yep right here and you broke stuff why'd you break scare bring of magic but it's magic okay You're a murder bot, and I do mean murder. That room is a very scary room. Don't particularly want to deal with it right now. I'm going to have to anyway, but I don't want to. Okay, I think I've done everything on this side, so I only have that side remaining. Maybe I will just finish this dungeon while I'm at it. Then I'll give me another episode to play around with things. Um, are you up at 30 yet? No. How'd you go down? You had more mad more spell points than that earlier. Okay. So let's swap things out for a moment or two. Because I'm going to be out of range, I might as well use the better weapons. Even if I'm only using regular blasters instead of blaster rifles. What broke? Ring. As good as new. That was one salvo of blaster. That blaster's really nice. Nothing else in range yet. But the moment I walk out here, everything's going to be in range. Like that. 
I see the murder death bots over there. It's right there. Oh, there's nothing on that side. They're all over here. Dang it. You see what I mean by it just kind of makes the game a little too easy. They must be down below or above. No, that's right. There's no above here. It's only below. Hi. Uh, maybe I will end up keeping it like this. I don't know. Just really don't like... Hey, look, we've done all of this work now. I hope you didn't want any of that. They can hit me also, so this is totally fair. Only I hit way faster than they do because of haste. Haste is actually the reason why everything's going so well. So basically, I'm on the upper floor of this place right now. Um, let's go ahead and drop a beacon. Set. Um... Don't want to set any of those. Can, do you have enough to set yet? You do. Good. Let's town portal usurpical. I don't have much to sell or anything. I don't need the dragon tower keys. I'm going to keep my melee stuff with me. By the way, um, I don't need these blasters at all. Yep, keep these with me. Keep those with me. That's cell bait, I guess. There's not really any loot in there, like I said. Wait, did I? Yeah, okay, that's right. Let's go ahead and heal. Recasting Hour of Power after I heal because I don't have enough spell points. So we're going to actually finish that place this episode. I'm going to have to edit anyway. Let's begin recall control center. Make sure that nobody went back in here. Nope. Okay. We're good. I'll go down eventually. Just. Ah! Hi, Terminator. So it is it's actually much faster when you go in real time mode, by the way. You couldn't tell. So usually with blasters, you want to stay in real time mode as much as you can. Obviously, there's times where you can't really handle whatever you're dealing with, but in general. Anytime that one of these is trapped, that means there's an actual blaster there. I saw you. Ah, damn it. There it is. Can't repair that, that's for sure. Power cure. And break more things, that's fine. You're at least awake now, so I can repair that. Might does nothing anymore, by the way. Might has no effect on blaster damage. Accuracy has no effect on blaster damage. Blaster damage is always the same. Well, other than blaster rifle, rifle versus blaster, but yeah. Always the same. Accuracy has a chance to hit, though. So accuracy is still somewhat useful. Uh, shared life. Break more crap. <sighs> Not that this ring of protection does anything right now. You broke your blaster rifle though. That needs to be fixed immediately. And then, finally, cure weakness, and kill everything, please. Uh, her blaster must have gotten damaged. If I'm looking at how infrequent she's... Yep. Attacking. Ha, ah, you're getting a different blaster, just because. Yeah, that's really the only reason to hold on to multiple blasters. This is the main equipment storage and repair facility. By now, you may have noticed several floating drone bots. They are responsible 
for both maintaining the key system, uh, systems of this facility, as well as sanitation. If a unit becomes damaged, it is brought here to be repaired. And eradicated again. And a second one eradicated. This is a problem. Um... I should walk away, actually, before I get even more eradicated. Here is safe for the time being. Resurrect. Power cure. You know what? Town portal, new surfical. Let's do it that way. Um, you can handle eradication. Um, eradication needs to be done in the... Um, Freehaven Church, which is the reason why the Freehaven, which is the reason why, or the plot, or the mechanic reason why Freehaven's the one that has the resurrection area, is because that's the area you're going to get eradicated the most. Um, there's only other one other way in the game beyond fountains to get eradicated, and that was from Q that we fought way back. That's more of a hidden enemy, so that one doesn't really count. Ah, I'm stretching, sorry. So, um, yeah, I'm just going to finish off Control Center. This is going to be a longer episode, uh, but we only have three left after this, so that's good. Okay. Breaking stuff. Repair. Okay. I know I could recast um, our power, but I don't really need to. So recall on that side. Not that this one's that big of a deal. Um, yeah, I don't need to because our power is still lasting another seven hours. Lots of power, many hour. So, you're gonna die. I don't know why I went into turn based, but oh, right, because there's an eradicator nearby. No, not the blaster! So, the reason why I unequipped shields is that it actually drops your attack speed. Although, I might actually have a high enough speed stat where it doesn't matter. Let's find out. Let's perform some science. Nope, I'm fine with shields. Sweet. Because their speed stats are high enough where I'm hitting zero reaction time. That's actually what's happening, by the way. The reason why it appears to be kind of like a beam of death. It's because, apparently, the game creators never thought about the spell Haste. Haste drops your... Er, so... Speed-wise, um, ranged weapons do not have a limit. They can be dropped all the way to zero. So in theory, you can actually do more damage with a... I mean, you can do this with a bow, in theory. In practice, not so much. Just because it would take basically everything being perfect to be able to pull this off with a bow. Hi. And more broken stuff. Done. Storage containers empty. Go over here. Well code. Nothing there. You actually up here you can? No. And then let's fall down to our deaths. I mean, um, go downstairs. And um, Yep, already got an eradication. I am in sight of two of these goopers. I am reloading and finding a different way down. Or maybe luring them. That might actually work. So if I lure them to the outlets, I can just deal with them one at a time. Nice. Sneak by, break something. I'm really confused as to how blasters are so useful for breaking things. I and mean, no enemy in the game actually has equipment, so it's kind of hard to tell. Alright, I think I need to wander down this way to get back downstairs. Is it over here? Ah, oh, it's dusk. Sweet. I can go heal. 
I, I'm being attacked from where? Oh, you're hiding up there. Okay. You're going to stay still. My bow of not at all useful needs to be repaired. I mean, if I was going to stick with Blaster... Are you kidding me? I can't hit you and you can hit me. That's garbage. If I was going to stick with Blasters for the rest of the game, I would end up trying to find new bows at this point. Because, well, the bows I have are completely useless now. I also never need to worry about attacking at a range. Because I only attack at a range. Yes, I know I'm getting eradicated. Oop, that's not the spell I wanted to cast. Dang it. Resurrection. So unfortunately, she's the one that actually has um, Divine Intervention. Redo that because resurrection is the slowest spell in the game. It truly is. Because I am truly lazy. Give you enough magic points. To cast Divine Intervention! Everything's fine now. Other well, than the fact that I broke stuff. broke that ring okay you can repair rings so yeah this is the point in the game where things become trivial because you have blasters blasters kill everything dead that's why i'm leaning toward not using them but i am going to use them in this dungeon in particular because you're supposed to that's kind of the point of the dungeon not to mention i'm dealing with something that eradicates on a single hit i'm done with fighting fair Speaking of eradicating on a single hit, hey look, I got eradicated. Who would have thought? Divine Intervention, which does cure from eradication as well, which is nice. So I've got that going for me. Uh, there we go. You broke your blaster. And no more turn based on just die. And that, nope, oh, I definitely still have something else around. Hmm. Just don't know where at the moment. Gotta be on the lower level, probably back here. Yep, that was a lot of eradicators. This is the room that you get the secret quest in, if I remember correctly. Just gonna double check to make sure I haven't already completed it. Uh, no. Look at how many eradicators there are. Oh, hey, look, I got eradicated again. God damn it, game. I mean, I know this area is not supposed to be fair. That's the point. This is basically a challenge area. Shared life. Then cure weakness. And she's good to go. At least for blasting. The other reason why I wanted to use blasters. At least I got one of them. What broke? Oh, your crown. Nothing I can do. It's fixed. Okay. So, we're going to change you to cast Null. Because I'm about to get my ass handed to me. 
Nope, we're done. That's not going to end well for me. You have small points. Uh, this is going to end poorly. Ugh. There's definitely ways of doing this particular part, but usually you level up first. Damn it. No. I need to get over there and enter turn based mode without getting eradicated. You see what I mean by this dungeon? This is my least favorite dungeon because I don't like getting instantly slain for no reason. of them this way, but they also can't hit me, which is the more important part. Okay, what did you break? Bring a dark magic. Also, you might as well repair your own thing. Not that might does anything anymore. Okay. This... Remember our old friend being able to go into melee combat? You remember melee combat, right? When it comes to daggers, you need to make sure that um, you don't have a dagger prepped otherwise. But remember when all... It's that... Oh, I'm within vision of the other ones. Dang it. Okay, I should have quick saved after killing one of them. That would have made more sense. Um, jumpy. Please just die. Stop me dying. Let's go run. Resurrect. This is why we need resurrection. This is the only reason in the game why we need it. I mean, you saw how I handled Q. I didn't need resurrection for Q. Uh, she'll recover. There we go. Told you resurrection's the slowest spell in the game. Shared life. Okay. I'm going to actually do a couple of power cures as well. Power cure. And cure weakness. There we go. Oh, looks like I have a friend coming up. Are you a murder death friend? No, you're just a regular friend. And the rest of these are going back to their hidey holes because of course they are. This is so slow to attack this way. Only one of them are actually hitting that way. Okay. I know things are breaking. Deal with breakage later. One eradication, and that's the eradication I can't deal with. Two eradication. Three eradication, and I run. Yay, I'm protected by the wall. Like only one person's hitting, but that's okay. 
Don't care. Want to finish this. I will finish this dungeon. Although, I normally find four blaster rifles by now. This is a little weird. Come on, just die already, Terminator, okay? Can we just agree that you need to die? All of you need to die. You notice that it's only phrasing it as Matt is shooting them? That's because Matt's actually... And think of it as, even though you're in first-person perspective, you have four people. And as a result, Matt is all the way over to the right and actually has a shot. However, when they attack you, you only have one hitbox. So they're not hitting Matt back as a result. This is the lesser slash harder version of using the wall to your advantage. The enemy does this as well, by the way. Um, so there's times where the enemy can hit you because your hitbox is revealed, but your two leftmost characters can't hit. So many Terminators! Somebody needs to find that Null Terminator already. Anyway. Um, looks like I only have one Terminator on the side left, unless the ones in the corner are Terminators. Certainly possible. But once this one dies, which... I shouldn't rotate. This is a perfect angle. And death. Okay. You're a patrol unit. You're dead. You've got a Terminator back there. I'm not hitting because you're stuck in a wall. Oh, of course. God damn it. Stop eradicating. The problem is that there's three of them and I'm alternating between all three to hit. So once they start going down, they should go down pretty fast, but my knight's going to be out of sync on the XP, unfortunately. And you're down that way. Fine. Stay there. Resurrect. I'm going to actually show you how long the time is. Keep in mind, I'm hasted. I have really high speed. So the recovery time on this is 400. If I remember correctly, which is the highest in the game. I think Divine Intervention is the same recovery time. Still waiting on recovery. Still waiting. She's already healed multiple hit points at this point. Still waiting. How am I doing on haste? I'm fine for now. There we go. Shared life. And are you truly the last one? Looks that way. Let's do an item check. That's it? Really? Hm, okay. Um, do I now have the achievement? Or the quest complete? No. I think I need to open up the chest is what it is. Um... Also, here are your weakness, so you're more effective. This is the room that's basically its own little... Um, grindy achievement. Time, 11.22. I can... Town Portal. Um, how are you doing on spell points? You have enough momentarily to be able to cast down portal or Lloyd's Beacon. I'm just gonna drink that. That'll be enough. Lloyd's Beacon. Set. Oh, what am I doing? This is the end. I don't need to beacon anything because there's nothing in here other than one chest. So I really want to know exactly where this trigger's at, because I never know exactly where. I think it's this chest. Just gonna scroll all the way down in case if it's at the bottom. I thought it was at the bottom of the quests, but... All the memory crystals! No? Hmm. 
Where is it at? I must be missing something. Because there's an achievement in here. And I'm going to grab it. Torchlight. I thought it was this. Uh. Meow. 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 I guess it's not that one. If that's not that one, then where is it at? Yeah, so there's basically no reason to go through there. Um, aha, it's there. It's down here. That's what it was. It's still in green, so I know there's no enemies. It's this chest, isn't it? Yep. Proclamation! Congratulations! I hereby proclaim you all super goobers! We've been promoted to Super Goober. Congratulations. Also, here, have a bunch of control cubes. And now, you'll see on here, Super Goober. We have achieved the Super Goober quest. Um, I'm missing blaster rifles. That is abnormal. Usually I end up with four blaster rifles, or more even. In this case, I only got two. They are technically random, so I guess it's possible, but that's not what I was expecting to have happen. Anyway. Ow! Cat is trying to claw up my leg with claws. Do not use your claws, kitty, okay? You're a very precious kitty cat to me. Your claws, not as precious. Portal, new circle, keel. Uh, this is the end of this video. Technically, we should only actually have one video left. Um, I'm going to go back through between videos to try to see if I can find any other blaster rifles. I don't think I'm going to find any, though. I think we cleared it all out. So I hope you've enjoyed this. I'm going to have to edit this, so that's going to suck. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye. I don't want to add it. Ugh.